Hey, good people of internet. Uh, I made this thing. This procedural footstep sounds. I made it using new audio engine and new um, modular synth, even two of them. And I will show you now how to do it. First of all, what you have to do, I already did it, you have to open plugins and audio and you have to enable synthesis. I already enable everything because this is gonna be my testing project so um, I wanted to have everything enabled but you have to enable synthesis uh, and you have to restart now but I won't because I already have it uh, enabled right? Yes. Yeah, so what I did is um, first of all I need to set up I need to set up footsteps notifiers on my animation. So I go to my animation blueprint, I go to my animation sequences, I get run, I get walk, I create new uh, notify, I name it step and I set it up here and here at the run animation sequence and also at um, walk animation sequence and then what is important you have to go to blend between those two animations even more than two and you have to check this uh, animation notifies set up it to highest weighted animation so when it's blending between walking and running you always hear only one sound because only one uh, notify will trigger then you can if you type here step after compiling and saving uh, you will get this animation notify step right here cast it to your first person character then you have to go to your first person character and create custom event I name it step but you can name it however you want compile it save it go back to your animation uh, find this um, uh, this is the, the thing that triggers our event from the first person character trigger it and we can leave animation blueprint we can even close it whatever and here we have our steps so every time this character uh, make a step triggers this event okay let's go to the bad, best stuff mm -hmm. I have to uh, from components at synth modular synth component I added even two because I have some issues with triggering one uh, um, I mean two sounds uh, right at the time so I had to create two modular synths and you have to enable it here how to activate have to be tick to enable um, and you have to just on the event step you have to uh, make note on and now the 60 velocity is 100 this is standard uh, and the length I set it up to O to 0 0.05 um, which is 50 milliseconds so very short and then what I did here is I created a timeline which is simple timeline like my all timelines are from 0 to 1 and also from 1 to 0 so then I can map it uh, and I can set a play rate so I'm changing the sound while this footsteps footstep is playing that's why I have this timeline and I connect it to the gain and to the tone of the um, of the footsteps I will show you in a second and there's a length 
and this is the length of the node and this is also the length of the timeline this is play rate but if you if one divide uh, divided by length gives you the play rate so the opposite it's like one minus in materials um, and I enable two uh, oscillators one I set it up to noise and second one I set it up to sign what I did here at the beginning is I set up stereo delay hmm, where is it stereo delay yeah stereo delay what level by by default is 0.5 so it is on 50% so it was confusing because I had some somehow stereophonic sound and you don't don't want to have uh, stereophonic footsteps mm, so you have to set up set it up to zero and yeah um, so if I have it from one to zero and I multiply it by four I get my gain from four to one this is my noise uh, oscillator and uh, my semitones are goes from five to zero sorry this goes from four four to zero and this goes from five to zero and that's the first sound because I was analyzing footsteps so every footsteps has two sounds first one is mm, it has more low frequencies second one has more high frequencies and is also louder obviously that differs but most of the time it is like that and also distance between this first first sound and the second sound is about 0.07 so 70 milliseconds uh, or 60 maybe here is about 60 because I set it up to 60 oh even even 50 okay so this is the let me show you the first sound because I have the second sound here because I made two two this two syn synthesizer setting for the first sound and the second sound and this is the first sound so you can hear it how this sounds this is only the first sound and it contains two sounds noise and sign if I set it up sign to zero so we can hear only noise It's not much much different. No, not much difference because I set it up this 0.5. I set it up the sign very slightly, but now if we set this one to zero, we can hear only the the sound. Oh, this is very. I'm not sure if you if you even listen it. Oh, you probably hear dogs barking. So I got slightly sign sound and much more uh, noise sound because as you can see here this is a um, spectrum of the footstep sound and it has much more noise than it has uh, modal sounds which are you know waves, sine waves. Uh, so there is more more chaos in footstep sound. You can say that. And then what I did, but okay, that's. Uh, I'll let me talk about this later. Um, I set it up this um, retriggerable retriggerable delay. You can use only simple del delay. That it doesn't matter. But I set. Uh, I connected to the velocity of my character. So sound. So it sounds different when it runs and different when it walks so 
uh, when it runs the distance between the first sound to the second sound is shorter it's all it's about 60 milliseconds but uh, when it walks when it when he's slower the distance is bigger it, it gives slight uh, slightly nice touch to it and you can if you use your controller <laughs> and you have triggers you can obviously test it so when it runs the footsteps are a bit sharper and louder and faster and also what I did uh, I connect the velocity I map it from 50 to 0 to attack time when you use synthesizers there is this ADSR uh, envelope which is like attack, decay, sustain and release uh, so it means how this sound should develop through time and when you set up attack to zero it means that it starts like sharp uh, but when you set up attack to 50 milliseconds it will fade in so I connect it to velocity so when character walks the sound of the footsteps is fading in and when he runs it starts immediately so when he runs the sound has more punch to it Okay, what I did, I also change a bit the there is different. I had some issues with with uh, I tried to use one modular synth to make these two sounds, but I had some skipping, so I had to use two um, different components. Um, but what I what I did, oh, this is probably important thing I didn't say. Okay, at the um, uh, footsteps event you have to set play rate of the timeline but you what most importantly you have to turn on the sound itself so you have to um, trigger the note on and then if you trigger the timeline uh, you need to send synth preset basically you just get modular synth Preset um, make, and if you open it, you will see how this is. Yeah, it works clunky because this is huge array of variables. But because of that, thanks to that, we can set up nice sounds to our synth. So yeah, and this this synth preset has to be a trigger has to be updated at every tick from timeline because we are changing these values uh, constantly through the whole footstep um, through the whole p period of footstep sound. But you don't have to do it. You can trigger it only once and change the value only once at the beginning. I just did it that way. That's not necessary. Um, so I guess that is all. Yeah. Mm. I hope you uh, I hope you like it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, write write it down in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you. <laughs>